victims. We think. Uh, it's a parking all A lot more of that. The model's different. Uh, game which was damaged. Uh, that's when we'll so, ever screen record. Here's what I do. Let's the camera for a second. Even though there's no. Zombies. Yo guys, Josh here. Now, we all know that, you know, Mom Warfare had, you know, last little bit of zombie stuff added for zombies. So I thought to myself, why not make a entire tier list of all the schematics? Now, again, like the last tier list uh, for Gobblegums, I'm basing it off of like use, reliability, or I guess not reliability, but just all around use. So, uh, yeah, you could see here the ads and stuff. I was going to show in, in Photoshop, but when I up scale on photoshop quality suffers so i guess we'll do this and then we'll have to deal with this here so unlike gobble gums there's no technically practically useless uh schematics for uh my offer. so you could see f tier here so why did i put death perception and elemental pop well in the end both of these don't give like a huge significant advantage when uh you know playing zombies these two i don't think i've ever started or used to start the game with so these are kind of your eh you also notice that i did go ahead and i did take a photo of everything here and i photoshopped it for a square photo like 800 pixels by 800 pixels the perks are these bigger ones are a thousand by a thousand uh pixel uh i did that because i couldn't really find good photos online and i thought this was kind of cool actually visually seeing all the items here i did unfortunately have to you know uh, lose in the sense of if i had a large backpack or medium you would see squares here which is why i kind of purposely went down okay i'm lying i didn't purposely get down we got screwed when doing the unstable rift and we weren't 100 percent prepared so let's get back to it so d tier is obviously well ones that you probably would almost never use so the reason why this is in d tier the blood burner uh key here is people can you know steal your blood burner uh eventually it can get broken now i know vr11 can fix that in the end the scorcher is way more reliable and way more useful uh the blood burner sometimes will do the rubber banding if you guys know what i'm talking about where you're driving and it keeps pushing you back so that's why it's kind of in this tier. Unfortunately, you can see the ray gun completely blows in Mom for zombies. No matter what tier you have this pack to, one, two, or, or you know, triple packed, it's going to be garbage. I don't know why. That they really nerfed and destroyed the ray gun as it doesn't really knock down zombies at all. The zombies don't get stun blocked like they used to. It's just not the choice to use. And then Golden Mask, well, I've used this a few times. This has slight advantages, but not enough to kind of use it. The one unique thing is if you do not have a gas mask and you activate this, you will be given a gas mask. I guess that's the advantage, but in the end, when is this going to be useful? Like, you're rarely going to be in the storm unless you're doing, you know, Red Worm. And here's the thing, when you're in the storm permanently and the mask breaks the Golden Armor Mask, you're screwed because it's like golden armor. You still take damage when in the storm, so there's not a chance for it to kind of fix itself. So in the end, when you're like in the storm and stuff, it's kind of useless. Now, I know what you're all going to say. Why is Tombstone and C tier? Well, when you start the game, you use everything. So it's kind of pointless to start the game with uh, Tombstone. And then these ammo mods, you know, was it Blast Furnace? Wait, no, that was for Black Ops 3. I forget what this was again. What was this? Dead Wire? I'm gonna just say Dead Wire and Blast Furnace here. These are okay ammo mods. Did I say okay? Because they only work on one zombie at a time. So that's kind of why they're here. And then obviously Uncommon Tool is here. Because it's, you know uncommon and then you know single pack a punch yeah it's kind of useful when you first start like playing but again in the end it's eh now i know what you're thinking why on earth is this here well just picture this you're in you know the elder sigil the amount of time this takes to regenerate and the zombies are running as fast as they are especially for monkeys and gurishes this takes about 20 25 seconds normal equipment i think it's like 10 15 seconds in the end, this is not, again, the most useful thing. So that's why it's kind of here. And then we get to kind of a bit more better thing. So PhD Flopper, obviously, you know, no fire damage, explosive, uh, no explosive damage. You can do Flopper and all that stuff here. I'm really excited for Black Ops 6 because I noticed both sliding and flopping activate 
PhD. Now, what on earth is this? This is the uh, stash. There we go. That was weird. So this is stash increase. Now for season two or three, I think it went from 10 to 20. And then now with the newest Elder stuff, it goes from 20 to 30. This is pretty useful because, you know, if you have the schematics for, you know, Legendary Tool and Flawless Crystal, you can get a few of those, stow it and stuff like that. Yeah, so Shatter Blast is pretty good because it actually does have a radius, explosive radius. So it takes out some zombies and stuff, so that's pretty good. Double pack, yeah, because double pack's pretty good. Now, again, I know what you're thinking. Why is the VR11 not an A tier? Well, in the overall, you know, usefulness of it, the VR11 does m a huge amounts of damage when it's fully packed and turns zombies to mercenaries for, you know, your distraction. It also does do massive damage to, you know, like HVTs or anything that's not a normal zombie, you know, fixes the escort vehicle. And then when you shoot your teammate, they get like a five to 10 second time frame where they do like double damage. When you're in the horde of zombies in the Elder Sigil and they're swarming you, this is going to kind of it's not going to work as good so that's why it's here and then we have rare tool because eh it's you know it's getting there but not that much and then speed cola is here speed cola is good you know reloading faster uh the you know putting armor in quickly there are better perks that give you a bit more an advantage there uh turned or rather brain rot i am referring to all these from like the previous games because that's what i remember them from so brain rot slash turned or whatever it is in this oh yeah i think i'm pretty sure it is brain rot so this works pretty good because when turning here's the thing the, in my opinion the mangler is the strongest when it comes to turned enemies the mangler will one shot like decide other manglers mimics in one hit like that's what the crazy thing is just one hits them so that's what i really love and then any other zombie too like the funny thing too is if you're in like a tight uh corner there because the funniest thing is that the mangler will still knock down turn zombies funny thing is if you're in a skinny enough hallway and the mangler knocks down the turn the mangler won't be able to run past them so you just see the mangler running in place as the turn slows gets back up so that's why i think it's a really useful perk kind of blocking up all the zombies and then dead shot obviously critical damage and all the other damage multiplier benefits now ether blade is very good because it will one hit kill normal you know zombies uh the retchling slash um uh nest crawlers and hellhounds now unfortunately anything other than normal zombies and stuff it will do a bit of damage to manglers and stuff but not like the greatest but it, it's really good with zombies especially when they're like flying at you and the, the elder sigil and stuff like that so this is good now vunda is very good because the fact that vunda unpacked can still kill zombies in the tier 3 red zone it just blows my mind no other wonder weapon okay wait a second correction vr11 does still turn zombies and unpacked in red zone but like the vunda will arc and then take out the zombies and stuff so this one's pretty good and then the sergeant's beret here the mercenary that pops in very good at distracting i think he can revive you he's decent in damage like he'll do he'll be pretty decent the one advantage is pretty much distracting you know distracting the horde most of the zombies so you can deal with other zombies without being like it completely hoarded so decent flawless crystal now why is uh flawless here and not up here where the legendary wrench is well legendary wrench you are not 100 percent guaranteed to really find it and you know pack a bunch is in you know zombies and tier three you can triple pack so that's why flawless crystal is an a tier because this you can get in game just by using the pack a punch this is useful to start the game with so yeah next one is epic wrench this is here because it's a decent uh one like if you don't have a uh, legendary uh you know tool here and because i know that takes the longest cooldown this one takes like i think a day maybe or less than a day now all three of these perks are useful in the sense of stamina you could at least outrun everything except for hellhounds because hellhounds still move quicker than you no matter what you try to do they'll catch you so stamina is very useful now quick revive again doesn't act like it used to back in the day you know like self revive and stuff like that but this does have like the fast health regen 
faster, you know, reviving. And this is just a very decent one to actually use. And same with Jug, more health. Because especially in the red zone, if you don't have Jug, you almost get like one hit down uh, with like no armor. So these comboed are pretty good and then just like the sergeant's beret there the hellhound works excellent in distraction and or can revive you now there is one flaw between the hellhound and the sergeant's beret when there is enough zombies around them they get permanently stun locked in the sense of they are getting hit so many times that they cannot get a hit off so that is why these two get killed pretty quickly when you're in the Elder Sigil because they group so many zombies around them that it gets to the point they just get permanently stun locked and they get they're done. They're completely done and yeah. And then Cryo Freeze, why is this up here? Well, unlike all these other things here, which have fairly longer cooldowns, um, not too long. Uh, these two here have about, I think, a 10 second cooldown. This has a 15, 20. This has like 30 second cooldown. But Cryo Freeze has literally a 1 to 2 second cooldown. This is the most useful ammo mod because of how slow the cooldown is. Or rather, how fast the cooldown is. But they're slowing the zombies down. This works especially useful on like, you know, Manglers, Mimics, Disciples. So, and if you have a fire rate, high fire rate gun, you will keep shooting. And you'll hear the kutsing kutsing that noise of the ammo mod activating quite frequently and then we get to the s tier here scorcher obviously because you know you can launch and literally fly across the map and when triple packed it's lingering damage is actually quite impressive in the amount of damage it does in a quick time and it slows down the zombies a bit within the radius now like i said with flawless there the legendary wrench is especially useful because well the odds of getting it is you're not always 100% guaranteed even doing like some of those triangles and stuff you're not really 100% guaranteed to get this so having this off the riff there is pretty good gold armor obviously because in my opinion this is very close to one of the best schematics here because like I didn't realize the difference between it, but when you're in the Elder Sigil, the difference between gold and armor is like what they say, night and day. Because if you have Scorcher and you're getting like completely beat up, you can just launch in the air. And as you're in the air, floating down full armor again due to golden armor rather than landing and have to put more armor in and the zombies like to spawn very fast and or wait for you so this is very useful now this is another go one especially with Maltoffs. if you're in the elder sigil and you have this and you throw a Maltoff, it's funny that Maltoffs are the only kind of flame item that actually triggers this i'm not exactly sure why because the thermite doesn't work the thermal tips on like the bow or crossbow doesn't work any fire except for the maltov works but when you're in the elder sigil and you throw a maltov dude the amount of noise that you can hear this activates it, kling, 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 kling. it creates like an entire horde of stun zombies which is actually good because the zombies behind them cannot actually get through and you'll see like manglers mimics trapped behind the horde of stun zombies so this is extremely useful now the reason why disciples up here is because the zombies have a tendency to have trouble to hit him when he's floating at a certain height when he's just high enough to avoid getting hit or barely getting hit it is hard for the zombies to actually hit him since he's obviously floating so zombies group up under him i'm like doing like the other day when me and darren were doing the uh unstable rift we're like where's most of the zombies look to the right there's like 80 zombies around him i shoot my you know explosive bow with uh you know dead wire detonators there it shocks the whole horde and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure he also can revive but he's very useful for distraction because he's almost just outside of the reach of zombies so he can't really get stun blocked too much but he still can get taken down slowly especially mimics oh mimics will shoot him still and yeah mimics don't miss they're gonna they're gonna get him and then the final one is the 
I forget the name of this. I don't know why. It's like the ammo thingy here that gives you like unlimited ammo and stuff. Well, I guess not unlimited ammo, but it pretty much makes your weapon like doom weapons. Like back in the day, you don't have to reload. You can just keep shooting. This works especially good for shotguns. This does not work on wonder weapons. And strangely enough, this does not actually work on, I think, crossbow. It's very specific weapons. I Yeah, I think the crossbow this won't work on, but the new bow it does. So I'm like, eh. So that is pretty much every schematic. Oh, and one thing too that I was kind of dumb is uh, with the unstable rift. I didn't know the unstable rift gives you this and this and it triple packs and makes all your weapons legendary and gives you all perks because uh yeah we noticed that and or it takes away tombstone because like the one game i was like uh i'm like we died there i'm like where's my tombstone i'm like where's tombstone apparently it takes away tombstone so that's the way that works so yeah that's pretty much about it there's my whole tier listing of uh you know all of these i know again y'all are probably gonna be like oh you're wrong here you're wrong here but this is just my personal opinion y'all can let me know if i'm wrong or something like that or actually different uses of some of these items be like oh you can actually did you know this or something like that you could use it here or do that so that's about it uh thanks for watching remember don't forget to like comment subscribe and just like always and yeah you could probably tell it's still i'm still kind of sick it's been like a week and a half since i had maybe the rona so yeah that's it ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching just like always peace uh so yeah video's over it's done so uh not exactly sure what y'all are doing here so yeah that was that was like the intro and then now that's like now this outro, that's pretty much it. So, Alright, so what's good, uh, Josh? Uh, how's it going? Uh, I ain't got a watch uh, on, but, like, dude, you playing zombies? Like, what's going on? Alright, alright, chill, 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 alright. So, yeah, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah. Come on. Alright, alright, chill yourself down.